Welcome, Taurus, to your mid-month reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's going on with you in mid-month. And happy birthday, Taurus. Okay, hope you guys have a beautiful birthday. I had a beautiful birthday on the 10th, so... Yeah. Beautiful Taurus season. Okay, getting straight into what you're thinking, feeling all the energy surrounding you. Coming in as the King of Pentacles, coming in as your own sign and your own energy. Okay, feeling very prosperous over here, feeling like you're in control of the situation. Um, you might be feeling a little materialistic right now. Hey, it's your birthday. Um, you know, it's your birthday month, so, you know, maybe there's things you want, working hard to get them, wanting people to notice you. There's also this, uh, you know, um, kind of stubborn kind of energy that he's got sitting there, right, because he's sure of himself, very sure of himself of what he wants and what he's going after. Um, so, yeah, feeling very proud and sure of yourself right now, which you're allowed to because it's your birthday month. That's what we should be doing. I know I was, right? I was like, I want these clothes and these shoes and these candles, right? And my husband was like, okay. Okay, so here we go. And you have triumph coming out. So the overall meaning of the whole reading is the triumph. So it's not only just clarifying on the king of pentacles, but it's, you know, that whole clarifying card is like, this is what we're going after right now. I want to have victory. I want the things I want and I want to feel like the king or the queen or, you know, however. Um, and knowing that whatever you're doing, you're doing it for all the right reasons <laughs> for yourself, right? Happiness. So getting into the situation, the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. What if I am on Taurus? Whoa. First card coming out is the Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. <laughs> in the present, you have the Four of Wands. Wanting that love, that passion, that house. Clean that house. Get that house done. Maybe I want new carpet. Maybe I want a new couch. Maybe I want to sell this one and buy another one. <laughs> you know, I want to rent something else. I want something else. And there's a lot of celebrating coming out. So it could also be that celebrating your birthday, you know, and just having a good time. In the recent past, it was the Four of Pentacles holding on to something. Okay. And in the near future, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So the overall satisfaction. So it's going straight from I'm holding on to something. I want this. I'm holding on to it. Maybe I'm saving money to have something. Um, yeah. Whatever it is, you're holding tight over there or whatever it is you want. Whatever your situation is. We'll get to the best scenarios over here. So, let's see. What are you holding on to so tight? Faith. You're holding on to faith. You're holding on to your manifestations, your prayers, things that you want, maybe even traditions. Uh, maybe traditionally you're like on my birthday, right? This is what we do. You're holding tight to your beliefs, right? Nice. It could even be a relationship. Maybe you're holding tight to a relationship. It is a card of a relationship as well. So, hmm. It could even be a relationship with another Taurus. Then you'd be like me and my husband. My husband is a Taurus. So however it is, it even could be a relationship with a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. This is a Pisces card. It seems to me you might be holding on tight to a relationship with, um, we're going to say Scorpio at this time, um, and hoping that you get the proposals, hoping that they bring in these proposals, wanting these opportunities with this Scorpio. Hey, if they asked you out, you were holding tight to that, right? If they give you some kind of proposal to go on a date and have a celebration or do something, you're not going to let that go. You told me we're doing this, right? And then, of course, it could be any opportunity coming your way, right? And having faith in the belief and manifesting that you will have enough money or that you will get whatever it is 
that the Knight of Cups has to offer, right? Now remember, you're very self-assured over here in the, in the present, so you've done a lot of reflection on this. You can even be dealing with Virgo. You've done a lot of reflection about what it is that you really want and why you're holding so tight to this. Clarify, why are you holding so tight to the Knight of Cups? Why are you holding so tight to this Knight of Cups? Because they're loyal to you and you feel like you have a loyalty to that situation or them. Okay. And maybe it's even a loyalty to yourself to say, you know what, I've been holding on to this for a long time. I want this new couch or I want, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's my birthday. I have, you know, I'm going to be loyal to myself and give to myself. And that could be also a huge possibility. So take it how it resonates. Okay, but for now, it really looks like a relationship, okay? So I'm going with that one just for now because it really looks like they have offered you cups of some kind of opportunity or love or date or something, and you're holding on tight to this. You see this person is very loyal to you, okay? And this is why, and you even reflected, are they truly loyal to me? Yes, they are. And I want this relationship. I am holding on close to this. Oh yeah, I see clearly. I see clearly exactly what I want. And oh my God, because the passion is like booming. You could even be dealing with some kind of Aries. I have Aries twice here, so it could even be an Aries. Aries Sagittarius or a Leo. But <clears throat> you know the, the passions over here, Taurus. And you want that passion. And you're holding close to that. And you're moving with that. And you're moving fast over here with the triumph. See, because you want the victory with this situation remember overall card and you know you can have victory i just know that you know because of this ace of swords it's like i'm growing towards this they're growing towards me then you have the four of wands the overall passion there is so much passion going on over here either passionate about what you want passions with this person maybe it's all the above but there is so much passion Clarify it on the Four of Wands for Taurus. Yeah. If you have any text messages coming through, they are going passionately. You guys might be doing some passionate texting. <laughs> okay. Um, however it is, um, whatever is coming in in these messages are super passionate, super romantic, super sexy for some of you. Super duper sexy. So, um, yeah. But whatever it is, it's, it's making the relationship grow and grow and grow. Um, and you're just, yeah, it's on a roll over here. And it looks like that these romantic texts may be involving you going somewhere with them. Like you guys could be going to the movies, going out, doing something. Um, it doesn't have to be for your birthday, of course, but, um, but definitely going somewhere. It looks like they're going places. You could be going places with them on dates. Yeah, celebration. No matter what, we still have celebrations over here. So maybe you, maybe right now, those of you who are having your birthday right now, um, at this time, um, getting ready to, to almost be cusps. Um, yeah, it does look like maybe they are taking you out, but they could also be, like I said, taking you to the movies, taking you to the theater, taking you someplace, maybe dancing or drinking or, you know what I mean? You're having a good time, right? Maybe they're taking you to, to another party. But it does look like maybe a party over there. Taking you to a party. Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody is definitely dealing with a fire sign over here. So you have the Queen of Wands over here, and you're feeling the integrities, the passion, and the self-courage and confidence from this person. And I think this person gives you a lot of the same above, right? They give you a lot of self-encouragement. They um, tell you how beautiful you are. Um, really encouraging your, um, just everything. And they're very passionate about it. I can see that. I get, well, they got you. They got you on a roll over here. Passion, passion. Okay, so you have the two over here. Two of coins. 
there's something that's coming up that's making you um, decide. Why are you deciding what you're doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no, do you have a water sign and a fire sign, my friends? Is that where the threes are coming up? Oh no. Um, you got this, all these memories and all these nostalgias coming up. This could be somebody from your past coming up. This fire sign who is just giving you all this passion. Um, three of wands. You guys, makes me wonder. You're holding tight to, okay, wait a second. Everybody just... You ready, me, right? Right. Unless you have something else going on because, you know, I still want that couch, okay? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I have a person and a couch, but I, I really need them to go help me get this couch, okay? For my birthday. Um, unless you have, you definitely weighing two options, you have two situations going on at once. For some of you, I'm literally going to say it. You have two different people giving you cups of love over here. Um... Yeah, you have a fire sign and a water sign, just saying, right? Or an earth sign. There's only two two options here. You either have it. That's it. I don't really see anything else, right? I'm going to say water and fire. It's like you're daydreaming over here and you're thinking about this person. Now, you know the loyalties. Okay, this is for people who have two people. Okay, let's just stop for one second. You know the loyalties of the water sign who's giving you all this stuff. And you know the passions of them as well. But then, you know what? Where is this other person coming from? Okay, well, you decide, Taurus, okay, who you know, those of you who have two people. Because it just looks like all you have to do is really just decide whether, you know, it's the Scorpio Cancer or this, we'll say Leo, right, whatever. It just looks like you have to decide between the both of them. I don't see anything or feel anything really, you know, um... Sticky situations, fraudulency here of, of a love, uh, anything wicked, temptations, anything like that. I don't feel anything negative about the situation. It just feels like you had one person who's giving you tons of love. You feel very loving towards them and you want this person because they're more traditional on your side. And then you have this really fun, crazy person who like, likes to write sexy about, you know, and maybe they're a little over sexy. And the other one is more like romantic and fun. Got it? And I'm starting to think that the one that's right and a little more sexy and fun is the fire sign, we'll say. And the water sign is more like this loving, compassionate, um, you know, very passionate type of person, right? So, but it does seem to me that the fire sign comes back from the past into now. And they're making you look at them in a different way. And it, you may have seen them at this party when you were over there with this other person. What? Yeah, I'm just going to say it because that's exactly what I just heard. And now you have to figure out which cup you're going to take. Whoa. So clarify on the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this just got crazy. I don't know how that got crazy like that, but it just did. So Okay, and then for others of you, you're just moving passionately with this one person, but you have something else on your mind that you need to decide what to do. And it's something that you've wanted for a long time in the past. Maybe, it, like I said, it's this couch or whatever you're doing. So now you have to decide, am I going to go out and have fun with the, just this person? Or do I have to get to business because I'm still holding on to the things that I wanted in the past? Right, so now it feels like you have love and maybe material items that you need to get as well. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles... You have the king of wands. Now here comes that fire sign again. You know that this person really controls you and you love the way that they are very passionate to you and they give you the ten of pentacles. Okay, okay, fine. Capricorn. You got a Capricorn coming in. But then again, you also see the prosperities of the queen of coins. I'm telling you, for some of you, you have two people. Okay, water, Capricorn, it don't matter. Okay, whole point is is that you have to make a decision on which one you want. And like I said, those of you who don't have two people, this is the prosperities and this is the person. 
I'm just going to say that, right? Because this is the couch or the new job or something that is actually going to move. You know what? It's going to move you kind of away from this person for a little while, but you're really enjoying yourself with this person over here. But it feels like this over here is something you've been traditionally trying to hold on to um, that's going to make this other person kind of leave for a minute. You know, I don't know why, but it is. Maybe it's a new job, too. Maybe you have, you know, maybe that's, like I said in the very beginning, maybe you have a new house that you have to move to. And then, I don't know. You guys take it the way, you know, it resonates with you and the situation is. But no matter what, in the end, my friends, you're still the imprint. So you still <laughs> get whatever, you know, and that's the truth. You're still balanced. You just have to figure out what the balance is between um, either these two people or these two situations that you're trying to balance over here. Got it? So, okay. And just, you're staying very determined because this is going to bring in the Ace of Wands anyways. Okay. So, but it does, there is two situations going on here, right? Which could, even the other situation, um, whether it's this house or moving or this job or whatever it is you're doing, it makes it like a third party because it's very involved in your energy, right? So, okay. And remember, this other person might not even be a love. It could be your, like, bestest friend, too. So let's always keep that in mind, that it doesn't have to be two loves. It could be, I found this guy that I love to hang out with, but now I feel like I'm leaving my best friend behind. See what I mean? So... Take action on what you know you need to do for a peaceful resolution. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.